Hi everyone. Today we're going to make chicken fajita bombs and Mexican rice. Both these recipes I got online by two separate people who had made these. Um, first time I made the rub, which is one tablespoon salt, one tablespoon chili powder, one tablespoon cumin, and one tablespoon of garlic powder. And I just rubbed it really good into the chicken so that it's nice and covered. Now before I had started, I had also cut this, these chicken, uh, the chicken pieces lengthwise uh, so that I would be able to stuff them. After you've got that all rubbed in, uh, just a couple tablespoons of oil, it could be canola, olive oil, avocado oil, either of them, and get your uh, pan nice and hot. Now for this, because I do have, um, um, my son does not like cheese, so um, later on you'll see me, I'm going to cook one piece of the chicken breast separately. But right now I'm just, uh, I cut up uh, one onion, um, some red pepper, and some green peppers, uh, and just I'm, I'm sauteing them to get them nice and, and soft. And then I'm going to add in a couple of cloves of garlic pressed. And then just stir that all together and keep stirring it, getting it soft. Now I'm taking some of the uh, onions and peppers out um, because I'm going to add the cheese mixture in right now and I, my, my son doesn't like cheese so I'm kind of altering it for him. This is a cheese mixture of uh, approximately a quarter cup um, cream cheese, four ounces of pepper jack, and four ounces of cheddar cheese mixed together and then I'm just going to mix it into the peppers and onions and let it melt a little bit. Okay, so once that is done, uh, now it's going to be time to stuff the chicken breasts. You've cut them lengthwise. you find where you've cut them <laughs> and then just I'm going to put part of the mixture in between
Okay, so I'm gonna start the Mexican rice and um, I put some oil in the bottom, heated it a little bit, and then I am going to actually double the recipe um, that it called for. I'm gonna put two cups of the long grain rice in because I want a little bit more. And then you're just gonna stir it and heat it and try to get it toasted. You want a nice brown color, um, but I'm going to add some onions to this in a few minutes, so I want to get it lightly toasted and then add in the onion. Okay, and then once it's lightly toasted, add that onion in. I would say one large onion chopped, two small onions chopped looking for those onions to soften a little bit more while your uh, while your rice still uh, gets a little toastier and then I'm going to add in some garlic some tomato and some cilantro the recipe does not call for these but I decided that I wanted to bulk that up a little bit and uh, give it a little bit more flavor And then just mix that well. And then I put um, I put some salt and pepper, some um, it called for some um, some cumin in there, just like a quarter teaspoon. Um, I like a little bit more, so I put like a half. And then um, I will add a little bit of the uh, Cajun spice just because I like that. And then just mix it well again. Then you're going to add uh, two cups of chicken broth. Uh, the recipe I called for uh, chicken tomato bouillon, but I couldn't find them in the store, so I did the two cups of chicken broth with a can, 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. And then I also dumped in a 15 ounce can of black beans. Again, flavor, a little bit more. Um, uh, bulking the recipe up a little bit and then get it all nicely stirred I decided to put some lime juice in there uh, since I had doubled the recipe I figured to juice the two small very small limes I was, I think, just garlic powder and um, a little of that uh, Cajun spice. Not a lot, just enough to give it a little flavor. And then just put a lid on it. And uh, the recipe says to cook it for 15 to 18 minutes. And it said try not to lift the lid. At one point, I will lift the lid to make sure that it has plenty of liquid still in there. Now I um, put oil into my pan and I'm going to fry the chicken. So I'm going to put these three that have cheese back into the same pan and then the one without I'm going to put separately into the little pan. And then uh, the peppers and onions that I had um, pulled out before without because he didn't, doesn't like cheese, I put him in now so that he's got um, plenty 
as well. And then you just cook the chicken, flipping them several times to uh, get them done on both sides. The pan was a little hot, I turned it down a little bit. And I'm just gonna flip them again so they don't burn, but they also um, get, get cooked on both sides. And then I just check with my um, thermometer just to make sure where the chicken's at. When it reaches about 135 degrees, um, that's when I pull it off. It's about there, so I'm, I'm putting the rest of the cheese mixture with the peppers and onions on top of the chicken. And I'm going to let it melt a little bit. But for the most part, this is done. Here's a good look at the rice. It looks really good. Really good. Plenty of liquid in there. Hi. So just a recap of dinner tonight. So these were the fajita chicken bombs and Mexican rice. And they actually went off pretty well. Uh, everybody liked them. Uh, my son did say that the I had put two lime two limes in it, two juice of two limes, and he said it was too much lime, so uh, that the rest did not even taste it. So I said I have picky kids. So the fajita bombs, the chicken was done well, the peppers and onions, the cheese all worked well together, and then the Mexican rice I did add a few things to the recipe that uh, she did not already have in there, like the lime juice. I added a can of black beans, I added tomatoes because, well, I just wanted a little bit more filling. So it all went well. Got a couple thumbs up, at least three out of four. <laughs> so uh, I have a couple of children who are very picky so that I can make things that work for everybody and I can add or subtract as it demands for this one. As you saw, I, I did... Uh, the three pieces of chicken stuffed in one pan and one by itself because it did not have cheese. So everything went well and um, it was enjoyed. At least it was enjoyed even by my son who did enjoy it. He just said the rice had a little too much lime. So next time maybe I'll cut it down a little bit. Maybe not. <laughs>